What's going on, everybody? Sports with Three here, bringing you another cool Transformers goodie review. Today we have Robot Masters Convoy Optimus Prime, and as you can clearly tell, it's a knockoff in a smaller version of the Robot Masters Optimus Prime, if you're familiar. And I picked this up from overseas, and you can see the packaging got dung up in shipment, but you know what? I didn't buy it for the packaging. I picked it up because it's got a cool-looking Optimus in there. I know it's a KO, but you know what? It's awesome. I love this kind of stuff. So you can see up here, it doesn't even read Transformers. It reads Transforms. <laughs> I think that's awesome. So H is 5 plus, G1 there. And then down here, you can see it reads Encore, which I think is kind of funny, <laughs> the Encore. Uh, yeah, and you can see here they got the Hasbro version of MP01 and then the Takara version of Ultra Magnus. Underneath here, here's some tech specs for you. If you want to check that out, and then there's some little bits of other information tells you how to transform everything. It's really not a whole lot going on with this thing, but it is nifty and neat, and it's another Optimus to add to the collection. Some nice box art back there. Check that out. I don't know what any of that reads, but... All right, so anyway, let's get it opened up and take a closer look. All right, so here is Optimus, and he looks kind of nice, doesn't he? He looks really nice from a distance. It looks really nice, but up close, you know, it's a knockoff, so it's not going to look that great up close. You can see he's got some shoddy-looking paint apps here, but it does look nice because it's g one -y. And anything g one -y is always a win in my books. And then on the side here, the paint apps you can see can probably be touched up a little bit. You know, I can probably touch that up. It's... A smidge but uh, yeah so combined here with the trailer and Optimus together it's about eight inches long we'll do a real quick comparison just so you have an idea here is deluxe bumblebee so you can see the size comparison there and so it's not a full size type uh, toy but it's an it's more like a novelty item so the gimmicks with the trailer are this here you can pop the back down which is really nice you can pull that down a little bit of storage in there. And just to give you guys an idea, you can actually take Cyberverse Ultra Magnus in here, even with his weapon, because there's an opening in there. You can see that in there. And you can slide this right in there, just like so. Close this up and check that out. Now you can, you, so you can probably fit a couple little Legends figures in there, a couple smaller uh, Cyberverse figures and whatnot. But it's definitely got a cheapy type plastic feel to it. So I would take my time playing with that if you guys decide to pick one of these up and on the front here you can actually slide this open for a little bit more storage you might be able to wedge a small little cyberverse or a, a uh, you know a little tiny transformer or something in there if you want or for some weapon storage he does come with three little accessories so let's go ahead and take a look at those for accessories he has this really cool missile launcher but sadly there's nowhere you can put it it doesn't tab in or peg in or there's nowhere to put it. Uh, you can probably just use it for another Transformer or another action figure. And it does have a uh, spring-loaded gimmick in here where you can fire it. So you can launch that if you want. And the only place that I found that it does peg into was the front of his trailer here. But it really doesn't do anything. It kind of sits in there and then kind of wants to fall out. And then I'm afraid to push it in there too far because then it might break those little, those little plastic bars there. But either way, it looks nice, but not a whole lot. Not a whole lot to do with it. So here is his Energon Axe. Simple molded plastic. Not a whole lot going on. I really like it. It's got the MP10 look, MP01 look. Got the nice little spikes there on the end. That looks really cool. And then here's his blaster. Looks just like the G1 blaster. Kind of a win in my books. I like it. Very nice. Here is Optimus. And he looks kind of clunky, I know. Doesn't fit together all that well. Some of the plastic is warped just a touch. <laughs> you can kind of see it all splayed out a little bit here on the back. But you know what? It looks cool. You know, I didn't pay a whole lot for this. I paid $20 for it shipped. So not a bad deal. So the wheels roll here. But as you can see, this one doesn't really want to turn all the way because the molding quality on it is pretty bad. And the front wheels here all roll independently. It's, it's not bad considering I didn't pay a whole lot for it. The paint apps, you can see there on the what would be the legs in the back there. That's yeesh, it's kind of all over the place. But you know what? It's not that bad. It's just... For, if you keep that in mind, considering that it's, it's a KO. And then here is another knockoff Robot Masters that I picked up a while back, and I actually reviewed that, too. If you're interested, go dig that out. So you can see the size there. So this is like Scout size, you know? Um, and then this is more closer to a Deluxe size. All right, now we got them transformed into bot mode. I got to say, it looks pretty good. I like it. Some nice shiny silver there. Not... Not so bad. Got some nice yellow there. And right here in this pelvis area, you got some nice yellow. But if you get up close, then you can see the quality control issues with this thing. It's just all kinds of bad. Look at that. 
But you know what? If you got if you got some skill and you're a good repainter and you can paint uh, and custom, yeah, no problem. You can really deck this thing out really nice. So now the smokestacks would probably use a little silver paint too, but it still looks nice. I like it. Not a whole lot of articulation. I did need a little help to pull those little those little flaps down up under there his chest there but uh, other than that it's not so bad you can tell it's very light uh, plastic it's very light toy uh, not a whole lot going on here you can bend them at the knee a little bit just like so and of course you can see you can spin them here at the bicep and then it's got back and forth here at the elbow and then because this one it doesn't want to lock in you would think that'd kind of lock in there at the chest but he, he has a habit of doing this here so if you play with him a little too much it's gonna flip open like that look all kinds of weird but let's bring in the other knockoff here. So this Optimus stands about five inches tall. So we'll stand them up side by side here. So you can see the size difference here. And uh, I don't know, I like this one. He looks a lot better, better deeper red, a little bit more paint there. Uh, this guy, customizer's dream right here. You can do a whole lot with that. Gold feet, come on, it's Optimus. Optimus doesn't have gold feet. And then here is G1 Optimus for another quick comparison. So they look nice together. I like this. Yeah, not a bad looking figure. So here he is all decked out with his weapons. He's got his Energon Axe in there and he's got his blaster there. And it looks really nice. It's a great little display piece. I like this. It really is just a fantastic little toy. And then here is this accessory. Again, uh, nowhere to put it. I tried sticking it in a little hole there. It's, it's got some, some pegs right there. But honestly, I don't... <laughs> It's, it's definitely something you can use for an, another toy, but yeah, it looks great. So there you have it, everybody. Robot Masters Convoy Optimus Prime made by, well, I don't know who made it. It's just, it came from China. It's a knockoff, but I'll tell you what, if you're into Optimus Prime, like I am, this is a must have. Check it out. You can see the comparison. They look great together. And this one's definitely going to look great on your shelf. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. We'll see you next time.